Hi there. My name is Patrick Pusher, Technical Evangelist at Orca Security, and it's my pleasure to showcase this summarized comparison that includes the highlights of our more fully featured comparison video series between Orca and Palo Alto Network's Prisma Cloud and Prisma Cloud Compute, the two products in the Prisma Cloud Enterprise Edition suite. Prisma Cloud is the cloud security posture manager side of the suite, and Prisma Cloud Compute is the workload-centric protection platform that covers hosts and containers and a bit more. We go into more detail around the lab design in our full comparison videos, but our sample scenario is one of acquisition of a new computing environment hosted on AWS. We know nothing more than our simple lab diagram, and so we pointed both products at this environment to best understand where our largest security risks lie. So, let's talk about our findings. When we first compared Orca and Prisma Cloud, we found that Prisma Cloud only found our public S3 bucket, but didn't recognize that same bucket as publicly writable. In addition to correctly identifying the S3 bucket as both publicly readable and writable, Orca was able to find malware, unsupported and unpatched operating systems and software, passwords in shell history, insecure private keys, sensitive AWS keys, and weak host passwords. When we incorporate the findings from Prisma Cloud Compute, the only check mark we add is that we found SSH keys, but Prisma Cloud Compute did not tell us which systems they mapped to, whereas Orca did. Taking a step back, both Orca Security and Prisma Cloud installed simply and quickly with policies attached to cross-account roles. Prisma Cloud Compute is a different story as it is agent-based and as such needs to be installed and maintained on each resource that it protects. Additionally, the agent, or what they call defenders, must be able to traverse the network to send traffic to the Prisma Cloud backend. With Orca, a one-time installation covers your needs today and into the future, but with Prisma Cloud Compute, the Defender installation is necessary on every resource you wish to protect. We found both Prisma Cloud Compute and Orca did a good job of detecting vulnerabilities, although Prisma Cloud Compute had problems with our Ubuntu 1404 container. Orca had no such problems. Prisma Cloud did a good job around cloud configuration and compliance and supported a range of compliance standards. Orca doesn't have the breadth of support for these standards as Prisma Cloud does quite yet, but does support most of the high value measurements. At times it felt like Prisma Cloud was trying to win by volume of observations. In our small five machine lab, Prisma Cloud advised us of over 1500 assets and the most high severity observations of the platform were for default resources, in this case, security groups, that were not in use. Only Orca found malware in several places, despite Prisma Cloud Compute having support for such. Linux and container compliance worked as expected within Prisma Cloud Compute. At the time of review, Orca did not have support for CIS benchmarks for Docker, but does now. Orca supports far more of the CIS operating system benchmarks than Prisma Cloud Compute does, and Prisma Cloud Compute does not support any CIS benchmarks for Windows at all. Only Orca scans workloads and storage buckets from the side, which means no impact to your precious applications. Prisma Cloud got the check mark here as well, but it interfaces to cloud APIs and not to workloads at all. And as we've mentioned already, Prisma Cloud Compute uses agents that require resources in your workloads and network accessibility to report findings to the backend. The largest difference between Orca Security and the Palo Alto Network's Prisma Cloud Enterprise Edition suite stems from the fact that Orca considers the context of resources before classifying the severity of findings. Concepts like machine roles, state, host configuration, firewalls, networking, and much more. In doing so, those risks that have no outside exposure are de-risked, 
while those that are internet facing are risked appropriately. This context is then combined with deep analysis of the storage that powers your workloads via a process called side scanning. Side scanning, which happens out of band from the workload perspective and cannot affect your running workloads, finds vulnerabilities, malware, misconfigurations, lateral movement risk, authentication risk, and insecure high-risk data, all without deploying agents, network scanners, or any ops code at all. Thank you for watching, and please tune in to more of our competitive comparison features.